We're indigenous people, we're here. You know, they tried to get rid of us, we're here. They tried to take our language away, we're speaking it. We're at powwows dancing, we're, we're being in places where we were told not to be. And I think for the youth to see that can go a long way. Waked, Roserin's Quest, Ren Teskin, Ren's Exquin. Uh, my name is Rose Archie. I'm from Canham Lake, BC. We are Tuskedum, known as the people of Broken Rock. How has skateboarding impacted your life? Well, it got me out of my own comfort zone. Anything that you do, that negative talk sometimes of like, oh, I can't do that, that's too hard, or that's too scary. I think what skateboarding has done for me in mindfulness is like to speak more positive about myself, of like, you can do it, you're gonna get it next try, you got this, Rosie, you have friends cheering you on. So it impacted my life in a way of like, my confidence was always there, and I was always aware of it since I was a teenager. When I was younger, I was started getting invited to World Cup skateboard contests and I was like skating with the best in the world. It was like unreal to me because if you've seen where I grew up, it's like in the middle of nowhere, you know, to get to a skate park is an hour and a half. I think that that impact on me was like, you can go where you want, you can do what you want, you can have freedom. I feel like for me, when I was skating with the best in the world, I. It gives me hope that I've inspired people along the way, especially as an indigenous woman. And I always say that now, like, it doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. Like, skateboarding is one of the most inclusive sports I've been in. And I feel like that impacted me the most because I always felt like I fit in no matter where I went. So I feel like that impact on me is like, is like my legacy that I'm trying to leave in the skateboard community is giving people a safe place to come because I want them to feel how I felt. Can you explain how you got inspired to start Nation Skate Youth and any barriers you faced? I was in Mexico City and I was Using that time to grieve for my sister Tracy, it was the first big loss in my life. My best friend took me up to the Pyramid of the Sun and the Moon, and it's such a spiritual place. And I just started crying, because I was like, what do you, why am I crying? What do I want to do? And I thought, I'm crying because my sister left us too soon. I'm crying because I never got to tell her one last time that I loved her. I wish I got to tell her not to give up and I wish I got to tell her that she mattered. So I thought about that and I was like, you know, I wanna tell the youth that. I wanna tell the youth that they matter, that they're loved to not to give up. Um, Adam George came up with the um, mission statement of empowering youth through the positive impact of skateboarding. And I think I, I hold that one clear because empowering youth is like, something that you can't do overnight, but you can always plant a seed. And I think with Nations, it was being able to share my story and being able to remind the youth to learn their culture, learn their language, learn their traditions. And I love what you're wearing today because it, it says all of that. I think that part of like letting youth know, like don't be scared to ask out for help. Don't be scared to reach out. Don't be scared to talk about your feelings. What advice do you have for youth today? I wanna see youth thrive. And I always tell youth, like, if you ask the creator for things, like, be prepared, because it's gonna happen. 
Dream big, dream out loud. Tell your dreams to your parents, tell them to your friends. Like, don't be ashamed because one day you will be a pro BMXer or a mountain biker or a hockey player. And it's like not to give up, not to listen to that outside noise of people telling you what they think you are because you only know what you are. And for the youth, I want the youth to know that how special they are. Like, no one said it's gonna be easy. Some people think that they're alone. Some youth grow up thinking they're alone, but they're not. You know, there's always gonna be someone that's thinking about them, that loves them. What does resilience mean to you? I think being resilient is like changing the way you think. Because if you're always angry and depress your thoughts go into a really dark place and you're not so kind to yourself but if you can get out of that light and know how special you are you're gonna live like a, a healthier life and you're gonna know and you're gonna walk around with that smile that you have people are gonna know because they're gonna know how you carry yourself mm -hmm. you're not gonna you're gonna have your chest high you're gonna be smiling you're gonna be Seen as a, a man with confidence, a woman with confidence, and that's going to go a long way. I think that these conversations and sharing our stories with youth and with anyone that will listen, I think that um, that truly shows how resilient all of us are as one.